Good morning, everyone. Tina Spaulding, Trance Channel here for our Daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today we're doing lesson number 81. Our ideas for review today are, we are in another review period. <clears throat> number one, reviewing lesson 61. I am the light of the world. How holy am I who have been given the function of lighting up the world? Let me be still before my holiness. In its calm light, let all my conflicts disappear. In its peace, let me remember who I am. And number two, <clears throat> some specific forms for applying this idea when special difficulties seem to arise might be, let me not obscure the light of the world in me. Let the light of the world shine through this appearance. This shadow will vanish before the light. Reviewing lesson number 61. Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. <clears throat> it is through accepting my function that I will see the light in me. And in this light will my function stand clear and perfectly unambiguous before my sight. My acceptance does not depend on my recognizing what my function is, for I do not yet understand forgiveness. Yet I will trust that in the light I will see it as it is. Specific forms for using this idea might include, let this help me learn what forgiveness means. Let me not separate my function from my will. I will not use this for an alien purpose. And that is lesson number 81, reviewing a, reviewing a couple of previous lessons. So let's see what Jesus has to say today. <clears throat> You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And once again, we thank you for joining us today. Those of you that are hanging in there with the lessons are surely feeling some great shifts and tr transformations happening already in your consciousness. You are beginning to see how easily you are upset. You are beginning to see how hard it is to get your mind to do what you wanted to do. And you are beginning to see why people take themselves off to ashrams and, uh, monasteries to do this kind of work but we want to speak to that subject here today this idea of being in the world but not of the world for that is what you are all trying to do and that was my way when I was on the earth plane so many years ago I had my family and I had my uh, wife and children and I had my ministry and I had to focus very, very <clears throat> acutely on my practice to be able to achieve what I achieved. And in living in the, the ordinary world, you have a benefit in some ways. When you are sitting inside a little um, monk's cell, there aren't too many things to forgive, really. Uh, the mind will wander off on stories, but you are not being shown yourself so frequently and so passionately by the people in your life. I'm sure monks do get a, got, get on each other's nerves a little, but when you throw work and children and uh, uh, making a living and buying a house and all of these things on top of your practice, you are really doing the most difficult work as a spiritual seeker. So if you are having a hard time remembering your lessons, or if you are getting a little bit worried that you're not going to be able to master them the way you feel you should. We want you to really comprehend the size of the task that you are taking on. Not only are you standing firm against the propaganda of your society, which is magnificent, we will tell you, you are also doing it in the midst of a busy life. And for that, you deserve commendation. So today, that is our message for you. Well done for coming this far. Well done for hanging in there. Well done for showing up each day to listen to these lessons. Well done, well done, well done. I am that one that you know as Jesus and we will see you again tomorrow. <laughs> well done. See you tomorrow. Bye.